12 most advanced companies that develop self-driving cars. The competition to get driverless cars on the road is heating up. According to Allied Industry Research, the autonomous vehicle market will rise to $556.67 billion in 2026. Since October 2020, after two years of testing, anyone could hail Waymo self-driving robo-taxi service in the Metro Phoenix. Since then, the company has provided thousands of smooth, driverless rides. More countries like the UK are creating setups to enable autonomous cars on their road. Let's look at developing driverless vehicles because most people know about Tesla Autopilot only. Please smash the subscribe button and bell icon to get updates from us now. Welcome to our channel today. We bring you the list of the 12 most advanced companies that develop self-driving cars. Please smash the like button below the video now, and we are good to go. At number 12 is AutoX. AutoX became in 2021 the second company in the world to operate RoboTaxi. It was founded in 2016 to build the most advanced self-driving AI platform for the most challenging traffic scenarios in China. Their RoboTaxi service is now fully open to the public in Shenzhen the Silicon Valley of China. They were the third company to obtain a robo-taxi permit by California DMV. Their self-driving platform also includes robo-trucks. Up next is Yandex, Russian search engine giant built an autonomous cars company. They are keen on expanding into the self-driving sector all around Europe. In winter 2020, their driverless vehicles surpassed 10 million kilometers in autonomous mode, most of it in Moscow, one of the most challenging cities in the world with difficult weather throughout the year. Their fleet should include 100 Toyota Priuses and 100 Hyundai Sonatas. They did tests in Israel and US. In addition, they launched autonomous delivery robots to transport small parcels. Number 10 is Nero. Nero develops autonomous delivery vehicles. The first one is called the R1. It weighs 1,500 pounds or 680 kilograms and is just over 6 feet or 1.8 meters tall and about half the sedan's width. This cargo-only vehicle has space for 12 grocery bags. Nero collaborates with Domino's Pizza, Walmart, and others. Up next is Zooks. After six years of preparation, Zooks unveiled their vehicle that aims to the robo-taxi market. This autonomous electric carriage has four wheels and seats up to four people. This vehicle can drive both forward and backward, side to side, or bi-directionally. Top speed hitting highway use up to 75 miles per hour, which is 120 kilometers per hour. Their robo-taxi is currently under the testing phase. The company has been testing prototypes in San Francisco and Foster City in California and Las Vegas, Nevada. Currently, there is no confirmed date when Zooks will launch the prototype for the public. The company was acquired by Amazon last year for over $1.2 billion. Up next is Mobileye. Mobileye belongs to Intel, which bought it for $15.3 billion in 2017. Mobileye has been focusing on developing vision technology for advanced driver assistance systems, ADAS, and autonomous driving since 1999. Mobileye's turnkey self-driving system features a full sensor suite of 13 cameras, three long-range LiDARs, six short-range LiDARs, and six radars. They partnered with big automaker brands like BMW. Recently, they partnered with startup Udelve to run a full-scale, fully driverless delivery service starting in 2023. The company's plan to produce 35,000 transporters by 2028, with commercial operations beginning in 2023. It was an important signal of real commercial deployment. Number seven is Aurora. Aurora is building self-driving technology for every vehicle. They call it a driver. 
Within their investors, you will find Amazon and Sequoia. They took over the Uber self-driving car division in December 2021, but companies seem to be remaining close to launch robo-taxi services in the future. In that matter, Aurora has teamed up with Toyota and Denso. They also partnered with Volvo to deploy autonomous trucks. Up next is Motional. Motional, a $4 billion joint partnership between Aptiv and Hyundai, aimed at commercializing autonomous vehicles, expects to introduce entirely driverless robo-taxi services in major U.S. cities. Add Motional to the concise list of companies that have tested fully autonomous cars on public roads. They announced that it had tested driverless vehicles without safety drivers behind the steering wheel on public streets in Las Vegas. Currently, only a tiny handful of AV operators have deployed fully driverless cars known as Level 4 autonomous vehicles on public roads. Motional and Lyft announces an industry-first partnership to launch a multi-market driverless service in 2023. Number five is Cruise. Cruise is an American company acquired by General Motors. They aim to develop driverless vehicles designed purely around the rider, as we've seen in the case of Zooks. A spacious cabin without a steering wheel has no pedals and no rear view mirror. The company postponed launching a commercial robo-taxi service in 2019. Chevy Bolt was the basis for their first autonomous vehicles. In late 2020, Cruise was finally approved to test fully driverless cars in Level 4 in California. Recent self-driving industry consolidation led Cruise to acquire Startup Voyage that oversees a fleet of low-speed autonomous vehicles providing trips to residents of several retirement communities. Up next is Baidu. Baidu, known for its search engines, rolled out its paid driverless robo-taxi service to paying customers in Beijing, China on May 2, 2021. Baidu's target is to get 1 million vehicles fitted with Apollo technology. Baidu's Apollo Open Platform, launched in 2017, has led China's efforts to improve autonomous driving technology with government support. Leading automakers from the United States, Japan, Europe, chipmakers, and others are part of its network. Baidu is also partnering with Chinese automaker Geely to develop electric cars. At number three is Argo AI. Argo AI is an American autonomous driving technology company. Their technology comprises the entire self-driving system, including the software and hardware computing platforms, sensors, cameras, radar and light detection, and ranging radar called LiDAR. Argo has two significant investors, Ford Motor Company and Volkswagen. They are testing autonomous cars in six cities across the U.S. on Ford Fusion Hybrid. Volkswagen's iconic microbus would be tested with the fifth generation of its automated driving technology. That would strengthen automakers' ambitions to put their vans in mobility as a service in Germany by 2025. Number two is NVIDIA. NVIDIA is becoming famous for graphic cards used in online gaming or cryptocurrency mining, but they provide hardware and software solutions for driverless vehicles. The Drive is a software platform to provide autonomous car and driver assistance functionality powered by deep learning. NVIDIA partnered with Mercedes-Benz, Volvo, Volkswagen, Audi, Toyota, Hyundai, and others. NVIDIA partnered with Aurora to create a new self-driving hardware platform. Their latest AI-enabled processor for autonomous vehicles will deliver more than 1 trillion operations per second and targets automakers' 2025 models. Up next is Waymo. Waymo is Alphabet's self-driving moonshot. In October 2020, it was the first company to open robo-taxi public service in Metro Phoenix without safety backup drivers in the vehicle. Waymo began testing autonomous minivans, 
Chrysler Pacificas without a safety driver on public roads in 2017 by inviting the public to participate in the first public trial. Waymo has partnerships with multiple car makers all around the world. Waymo started the development of self-driving technology on January 17, 2009. By 2018, Waymo had tested its system in six states and 25 cities across the U.S. over nine years. Here we come to the end of our video. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing to our channel. Tell us in the comments section what's your take on self-driving cars. We will reply to your comment. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Thanks for watching.